tis the season to be podcasting. Stay inside with a warm beverage and a hot microphone. If you're interested, Spotify can help you out. They've got a platform that lets you make one, distribute it, and earn money all in one place for free. It's called Spotify for Podcasters, and here's how it works. Spotify for Podcasters lets you record and edit podcasts right from your phone or computer. So you've already got the equipment necessary to start recording today. Then you can distribute your podcast to Spotify, Apple, Google, and everywhere else podcasts are heard. Video podcasts are also available on Spotify. And when you want to take conversations with your fans to the next level, Q&A and polls are an excellent way to get them talking. With Spotify for Podcasters, you can earn money in a variety of ways, including ads and podcast subscriptions. Best of all, it's completely free. I switched dorky, geeky, nerdy over to Spotify for Podcasters, and I haven't regretted it. The analytics are fantastic, and the new tools for hosting and updating the feed are way more than I could do self-hosting. Now, it's your turn. Head to podcasters.spotify.com and read all about it. Then, let me know what you're podcasting all about. It's October, and we're in the mind for murder. Hey there, this is the Dorky, Geeky, Nerdy Trivia Podcast, and I'm your host, Brian Rollins. This week, we're diving into the life and works of the queen of the murder mystery, Agatha Christie. If you're new, I'll give you the rundown. Every week, we offer up three rounds of ten questions on a particular topic. If you need rules or a scorecard to keep track of your answers, you can find those at dorkygeekynerdy.com. We've had other author episodes, including Edgar Allan Poe, earlier this year. I think that about covers it, so let's get started, shall we? The Dorky Round Number 1. In what year was Agatha Christie born? Eighteen ninety. Number two. What is Miss Marple's first name? Jane. Number three. What nationality is Hercule Poirot? He's Belgian. Number four. From 1989 to 2013, who played Hercule Poirot on TV? David Suchet. Number five. What British Army officer would often accompany Poirot on cases? Captain Arthur Hastings. Number six. From 1984 to 1992, who played Miss Marple on the BBC? Joan Hickson. Number seven. What Agatha Christie novel is being adapted into a movie starring Kenneth Branagh in 2020. Murder on the Nile. Number 8. Poirot first appeared in what story? The Mysterious Affair at Styles. This is also Agatha Christie's first book. 
Number nine, Agatha Christie belonged to what writer's group, along with Hugh Walpole, Dorothy L. Sayers, and others? The Detection Club. Number 10. Rufus Sewell starred in what 2020 Agatha Christie adaptation? The Pale Horse. The Geeky Round. Number 1. Before becoming a private detective, what was Poirot's occupation? Police officer. Number two, Christie wrote six novels under what pseudonym? Mary Westmacott. Number three, Miss Marple first appeared in what short story? The Tuesday Night Club. Number four. Agatha Christie was the first recipient of what Mystery Writers of America award? She was the first to receive the Grand Master Award. Number five. What was Agatha Christie's first non-fiction book? Come, tell me how you live. Number six. The Secret of Chimneys introduced what recurring Christie character? Superintendent Battle. Number seven. Murder in the Calais Coach is the U.S. title for what Christie novel? Murder on the Orient Express. Number eight, Tommy and Tuppence first appeared in what novel? The Secret Adversary. Number nine, what was Miss Marple's last story? Sleeping Murder. Number 10. What real-life event inspired the murder and kidnapping backstory to Murder on the Orient Express? The Kidnapping of Charles Lindbergh's Son. The Nerdy Round. Number 1. What Christie novel was the result of a challenge from her sister, Madge? Her first novel, The Mysterious Affair at Stiles. Number two, Poirot dies in which story? Curtain. Number three. What Agatha Christie play holds the world record for the longest initial run? The Mouse Trap. Number four. How many times was Christie married? Twice. 
she divorced her first husband, Archibald Christie, in 1928. Number five, according to a poll conducted by the author's estate, what is considered the world's favorite Christie? And then there were none. Number six, the play Witness for the Prosecution was adapted from what short story? Traitor's Hands. Number seven, what was the first Agatha Christie novel published as Mary Westmacott? Giant's Bread. Number eight, during both world wars, Christie worked in hospitals doing what? She worked in the dispensary. The knowledge of poisons would be helpful in her stories. Number nine, how many stories featured Superintendent Battle? Five. Number 10. What was the original title of A Holiday for Murder? Hercule Poirot's Christmas. And that's it. Hopefully you enjoyed this week's mysterious episode. We did Sherlock Holmes a few weeks back, so grab that if you haven't already. We'll have more horror and Halloween episodes this month, so stay tuned. Speaking of which, here's your clue for next week. What book series gave us the quote, it takes a great deal of bravery to stand up to our enemies, but just as much to stand up to our friends. We're combining two of our favorites to make this episode, so don't miss it. In the meantime, be sure to follow us on Facebook or Twitter and drop us a review on your podcast directory of choice. We'd appreciate the help in spreading our audience. This has been the Dorky, Geeky, Nerdy Trivia Podcast. The music has been by Jason Shaw at audionautics.com. I'm your host, Brian Rollins. You can find more from me, including audiobooks and more, at thevoicesinmyhead.com. Thanks for listening, and keep using your little gray cells 